baby. Are you okay? No, you were shouting in your sleep, and when I got in, you were tossing and turning. I could even hear you from the guest room. Oh, you had a nightmare. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I... Can I get you anything? Like some water, maybe some warm milk? Oh, you want me to keep you company? Um, sure. I mean, should I just get under the covers with you, or...? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, I'm being awkward. It's not like we haven't done that dozens of times when we were in school together. Oh, don't worry about it. I wasn't really sleeping that deeply anyway. <laughs> yeah, those crickets can be pretty loud. <laughs> You're so nice to let me stay with you, though. While I'm in town, I mean. Now, it's only 5.30, though. Let's... Let's try to go back to sleep, okay? Mm, yeah, I get it. It happens to me sometimes that I can't sleep as well. Especially when I'm traveling in a strange place. Well, your place isn't really strange to me, but I haven't been here in a while. And it's not my bad, you know. <laughs> Plus, I'm a little jet-lagged myself. Different time zone and all of that. But it is nice just to be cozy in the dark. <laughs> <sighs> You know, this does bring back memories. The small talk in the wee hours, like we used to. I love it, you know, that we are such old friends, that we are comfortable doing this. And I know you wouldn't be weird about it, you know. It's a nice feeling, being so comfortable with someone else. Hmm? What do you mean? Oh, yeah. I guess it's been a while since you had a warm body in your bed, huh? Do you... Do you want me to brush your hair for you? I mean, I know you love that. Here, hand me that brush on your nightstand, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember how you used to ask me to do that for you all the time. <laughs> Aww, that feels good, right? <laughs> I remember, you told me that was your favorite thing, getting your hair fussed over at the hairdressers. What am I? My mom, the hairdresser? You know what I mean. The salon. <laughs> I have to laugh sometimes, the way that I talk. Yeah, yeah. That feels good, yeah? Good, good. Hey, have you ever gone to a Japanese hair salon? No. <laughs> well, they're really into the scalp massage thing. You should try sometime. It's really great. They'll always do the shampoo and everything. But then, they'll give you a scalp massage and put a hot towel for your nape. It's really awesome. <laughs> yeah, there. How was that? <laughs> keep going. You want me to just keep doing this until the sun rises? <laughs> Aww, you haven't been touched like this in a while. That makes me sad a little, babe. Everyone deserves to be treated well sometimes. What about getting a massage or something? Oh, it's not the same. <laughs> Do you mean, like, you want to be touched by someone you know, and who cares about you, and not just someone you're paying? <laughs> that sounded a little bit creepy, I'm not gonna lie, but you know what I mean. Well, if you were dirt into your belly, I can rub your back, and stroke your back if you'd like. You could even lift your tank top if you're feeling comfortable. Hmm? Yeah, no, I don't mind, of course not. <laughs> don't worry about it, silly. Yeah, just roll over. How 
was that? <laughs> oh, those moans give away everything. <laughs> hmm? How do I feel doing this? <laughs> what do you mean? Do I feel weird doing this? No, of course not. I mean, you're one of my oldest friends. It's a little bit different, I guess. I don't think we ever had much physical contact. Or, or actually, should I say prolonged contact? Yeah, prolonged. Like, just staying together like this. I've only been doing this like for a minute, but you know what I mean. Oh, I'm glad it makes you feel good. <laughs> so, how's that? Do you want more pressure? Do you want it lighter? Mm, just like that? Okay. You know, it's... I know some people are not into the physical touch, but for most people, it's actually natural to crave the human touch. That stems from infancy, I think. I've probably read something. That newborns crave touch. That's why it's actually better for the mom to room in their baby after birth. Back in the day, remember? If you would watch movies from the 50s or whatever, they would always show the baby in the nursery and the mom in their room. But nowadays, in most hospitals, they encourage the baby to stay with the mom in the room. So you know, the mom is always putting her hands on the baby. Or it could be the dad too, you know. Usually because, you know, the mom just gave birth and all. But yeah, it could be the dad as well. Like, for example, if you're adopting, or if the mom is sick or something, and the dad needs to take care of the baby. Anyway, it's all about touch. It's a very early imprint. And yeah, I can't really remember the source right now, but I believe there have been studies about babies not thriving because of the lack of human touch, right? Or vice versa. Slight premature babies thriving, flourishing, really, because of attention they receive from touch. Anyway, I really don't know how I got into that tangent. <laughs> you know, I have a tendency to be rambly, but I just wanted to say that it's natural to want the human touch, you know. Oh, here's another tidbit. You know I'm the king of trivia, right? <laughs> so... My sister told me that when you're rubbing someone's belly, especially children, like for my niece or nephew and they complain of belly discomfort, always rub in a clockwise direction, because that is the direction of digestion. <laughs> yeah, ask me anything. <laughs> I'm a beacon of knowledge, and if I don't know the answer, I'll probably just make it up. <laughs> No, no, I'm kidding. If I don't know, I'll just look it up. But this I'm pretty sure of. You want to return the favor and rub my back? I mean, sure. I'm never gonna say no to her back rub. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry if you can hear my belly rumbling a bit. I guess I'll be ready for breakfast soon. And not for now, though. Alright, let's... Let me lay down on my front, okay? Ah, this is nice, honey. Mm. That is really nice. Oh, yeah. You can rub my skull. I really like that. Mm, yeah. It feels good when you have a thick hair. Because the hair weights down on the scalp a little. So, that's actually really nice. You know it would feel really good too. If you grab a handful of hair and gently tug. <laughs> yeah, that's really good as well. Mm. Yeah, it's amazing. You're a natural at it. <laughs> yeah, please, go back to rubbing my back. That was really nice. 
And maybe you can run the fingers down the muscles flanking my spine. That's also really good. <laughs> you like that end then, where my spine dips between the muscles? <laughs> yeah, I guess I've always had that pronounced. I don't know what to call that though. A sort of through <laughs> between the muscles flanking my spine, I guess. Oh, <laughs> it's sexy on the guys. Are you coming on to me, young lady? Mm? <laughs> mm, that feels good, babe. You know, I'm almost falling asleep. Just lie down beside me and try to sleep a little more, okay? I can make you breakfast when you wake me up, okay? <laughs> 